Hey there, welcome to my kitchen. Today, I've got my bike inside. Today I'm gonna to show you guys how to remove the rear fender from the 2017 Honda Rebel. Uh, this goes for the 500 and the 300, I'm pretty sure. The first two tools that you're gonna need are the six millimeter Allen wrench and the five millimeter Allen wrench. If you don't have a spare five millimeter lying around, you can find one right under this cover. You just pull it off. just like that and there's one right here if you've got an extra coin I've got an extra quarter and you can use that pop that screw and then just undo it by hand you don't have to undo it all the way and out pops the uh, Allen wrench so we'll set this aside for now next you're gonna locate the two screws under the seat there's one right here and one right here in the back undo those with the five millimeter so what I like to do is I like to use the short end, put it in there, and then loosen it. You can do that for both sides, just so as not to uh, scratch the frame. All right, so they're loose, and then you grab the long end right here, and you just put it in, and it's easy to unscrew. And while you're undoing this one, lift up on it, and once it's loose, it'll pop up. You'll see. Just like that. Then you pull your seat up, backwards, and off. Just like that. Set your seat aside, and the next thing you're gonna need is a 10 millimeter socket. Once you have the seat off, you need to get this plate off right here. This is where the seat mounts to and where it sits. And it's just two 10 millimeter bolts right here. And you can just loosen them just like that. Take your wrench away and then just unscrew them by hand. So now that this plate's loose, there is a control unit under here. I'm not exactly sure what it does, but there's a clip that we have to undo. All right, with your plate sitting against the uh, back here, there's a little clip right here. Push that down and pull back with the plastic housing. You don't want to pull on the wires because you could rip them out. So you'll hear a click as soon as I press this button. You hear that click? So that releases it from the unit right here. So you press that and push backwards while wiggling at the same time, just to get it past that point. And then you can grab the whole housing and wiggle it off. See how it's slowly coming? And then it finally comes right there. And then just set this piece aside, and we'll put it back on later. All right, deep inside of here, right here, is the rear lights. This is for the blinker and all that. And it's really simple to get these off. So it's easier with three hands, but you have the wire in your hand, there's a little clip that you lift up right there. I don't know if I can show you and do it at the same time, but for all three of these, you have this little clip. Lift that up, pulls right out. Same with the blue, and they're color coded so you can't mess it up. Blue, and then orange, and now all three of them are out. So now your brake light is disconnected. Okay, this one's gonna be a little difficult to show you, but this plastic piece needs to come off. And to do that, it's very, very simple, but it's just hard to show you. There's three little push pin clips that you have to take off. There's one right here, one right here, and one right here. And how you take those off is you just push it in, just like that, push it in, just like that, push it in, just like that. And then remove those, and they'll come out very easily. You just have to have either a very, very thin screwdriver or use your fingernails to pull these out. Just like that. And then when you're, when you, after you pull them out, make sure you push, push the uh, tab back in so that it's sticking up just like that. And then set those aside. So now this piece can come out. So we pull these wires for the brake lights. Pull them out from underneath this bar here. And then 
pull this piece over this, uh, this bolt right here and then sideways out and then set this piece aside. All right, so now the fender is free from the uh, frame itself. And now is when you're gonna use your six millimeter outlet. These bolts right here on the side and the bolts on the other side are the only ones that need to come off. So put that in there. And you're gonna hear that every single time. I've taken this off three times now. And you hear it every time. All four bolts are out. Your fender is now free from the bike. Now I found the easiest way to remove this is by, is by lifting it up just slightly and then go straight back with it. That way you don't hit up here. a certain point you can actually lift straight up. That's cutting my hand. So lift it straight up off. It's going to be a little tight but that's all right. So now you have your fender, the wires, brake light, blinkers, 